Good morning, everyone. We are back on the lake today. We just were yesterday too, but decided we had such a, not really like a phenomenal time yesterday, but we got, we did pretty good. We got uh, three fish, two of them being pretty good ones. One almost probably four and a half pounds, maybe five, but we didn't have a scale. And then another that was maybe around, oh, forgot my sunglasses. Um, one that was maybe around three and a half pounds. And then the other one was just a really fat one and a half to two pounder. So yeah, um, decided to come back out here and try my luck instead of going to someplace far away. But we found some offshore spots yesterday that I want to try today. So that's kind of the goal today is I'm going to try to throw some shallow crankbait stuff and then here in a little bit once it warms up a little bit we're going to try going out deep for some of these fish that i found in this offshore area um i've actually got two offshore spots so these fish are still pre-spawn so i think these offshore spots should still produce but anyways let's get down to the boat throw the gopro on and get to fishing as always well most of the time gotta start the day off with that black rifle coffee great coffee for going fishing in the morning gets you all energized especially in the super early mornings but ooh, looky there got the boat all cleaned yesterday so everything's fairly clean in here since it hadn't been since it winterized but let me show you a little bit about what we got going on up here right now so first we're just rocking some simple stuff today got a black or a green pumpkin with orange, whatever you want to call that, uh, jig, shaky head. Then we got two spinning ones, just a Ned rig, and the other one's not tied on. Something, this is more of like if I want to drag something offshore or something, I can do it with that. Then we got two different Texas rigs, two different weights on them, chatter bait and a crank bait. Crank bait is what I think is probably going to be the ticket today, but we will see here in a little bit. <laughs> Well, I guess let's get over to the spot, get to fishing, and get on some fish. Whew, not nearly as cold as yesterday morning, guys. Yesterday morning was freaking freezing when we took off. It was like, I think actually it said that it was like 48 degrees or 45 degrees when we took off. So it was really cold when we took off yesterday. Completely different today because it's like in the high 50s today. May not seem that great, but you know, I'll take it compared to the weather that we've been having. Didn't really have any luck right here yesterday, but I guess I need to turn my trolling motor on for it to, uh, power up and start working all we got to do is just catch a fish or two today guys that will make me happy if we can like i said we got on two real solid ones yesterday which we're going to hit the spot where we caught the one real the biggest one yesterday but i don't really want to spend too much time fishing these spots we fished yesterday just because kind of know what's happening at those spots right now biggest thing is going to be trying some of these other spots that I have on the lake that I haven't really fished this year yet since I've really only been out here one time and then maybe fishing these offshore spots that I found yesterday this place is going to be packed today didn't want to travel that far because I didn't want to get uh stuffed on this lake with that has a bunch of tournaments this weekend that I wanted to fish so I stayed local and it looks like this place is going to be packed too so what you get first nice week well one of the first really nice weekends of the year got a bunch of people out here that are fair weather fishermen and then gonna have a lot of pleasure boats out here this afternoon probably too with it being in the 70s okay so this is different than yesterday already because yesterday when we were fishing here i wasn't even marking a freaking fish anywhere right through here even when danny caught the big one still couldn't mark a fish i didn't mark any in that spot and then he ended up pulling it up so unless it was really 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 suctioned to the bottom maybe but i don't know oh there he is 
I knew there was something right there. Just a little dude. First of the day. A little like 12 inch fish, but you know. All right, see you later, buddy. Had to grab a quick picture. I guess we're officially, we got the skunk off the boat, but wasn't necessarily the one that we're wanting. So we're gonna just, I'm gonna keep on fishing this little area real quick. Well, that spot was not as productive as I was hoping it would be, but you know, we got plenty of other spots. So it is only 7.45 in the morning. So we're gonna go hit some of these other spots. One of them's right next to the boat ramp, right near the boat ramp. There's a lot of people coming and it's like a community hole. So I'm gonna try to go get there before too many other boats get there. But anyways, just, let's, just, let's just get going and hopefully get one there. So I think I'm gonna start on off with crankbait. Got one here yesterday on a crankbait. So I'm hoping just to pull one real quick, maybe get more, I don't know. You know, you always hope you get more than one, but, or more than nothing. But you never know, I mean, things change so much, especially a really pressured lake like this. So, looking like not too much luck right now. Well guys, not having much luck. Tried to go to some of my offshore spots and there's boats trolling over them for walleye saga, well walleye, crappie, whatever they troll for out here. So, wasn't able to fish them, but I'm gonna tie on a different crankbait and try these two spots I tried at the beginning. Well, some at the beginning of the video. See if I can't get another one, but it's been a grind out here today. Hoping to at least get one more, guys, so stick with me. Let's try to get another one. It's gonna be about a good time to get off after I fish these two spots because I just saw two pleasure boats come across the dam and the kayaks and stuff like that. So it's probably gonna get super busy here soon and it's already packed out here with boats i mean there's one two three four five six seven eight nine ten uh, there's at least 12 boats right here on this pool or on this little area and this lake is not very big if i don't get bit here on this wall with this bait i am going to be pretty surprised but the way that today is going, anything's gonna happen because it's way different than what it was yesterday already. Is that one? I think so. Yep, there's one. Oh, that's not too hateful of one. He was not coming off that hook. That dude has a weird growth right there by his eye. Really weird. But just another small one, but at least we got another fish. All right, buddy, see you later. At least we got two now. I think we should be able to get one more though. That dude didn't really fight much at all. Maybe it was just my crankbait color all day. Should have went with this color instead of the other that I was throwing. Well, just got off the water, got everything wiped down and cleaned up, and gonna head out, but it was a slow one day. That's sometimes how it goes. Um, could come out here and have a good day, catch some nice quality fish. The next thing you know, next time you come out here, you don't catch really a thing. So uh, yeah, that's how it goes. But I got some stuff I need to get ready. Gonna head out and see what happens. So thank you guys for watching. We will see you in the next video.